Hello everyone, I uh, just got my uh, white lightning wind turbine. Uh, I've been waiting for this piece for a while and uh, just clamped it down, just turned it over to see because I wanted to see what I'm going to have to do to balance the blades. I'm going to have to take the hub off to do that. And uh, boy, it seemed to have quite a wobble and so I just put up my, my gauge here. And you can see we're almost 60 thousandths, well, 55 of wobble on these. Uh, oh, no, so we're about 60 because there are five before. Uh, I could see it just by uh, by eye before I even put that that thing there. That you could see when you were spinning it. The movement. So 60 thou, oh, that's uh, like one and a half millimeter of difference. The only other thing is uh, I noticed the wires aren't very long on here for putting the connectors on. Going to be a little bit tricky, just good enough to be able to uh, to be able to strip those uh, the ends of those wires come on it and the powder coating job just I'm not sure if you can see it there's pretty gray in there and there's already some uh, rust down on the back side here and I'm going to send that out and uh, get that uh, redone before I uh, put it up on the on the tower and have to assemble uh, take it apart again next year because it looks like crap so I just wanted to show you I'm not uh, affiliated with anybody of any kind I'm just showing you what I got um, and hopefully it can help uh, everyone else pick out on, on what they're uh, what they're looking to buy. I'm going to see if I can uh, I'm going to pull this hub off. See if I can uh, get that. Uh, I know it's on a tapered shaft, so I'll have to see what I can do to be able to take that uh, wobble out of there. And then I want to put the blades on and see how they are for balance because uh, with my previous one that I'm wanting to replace. With this one, uh, the balance on the blades was uh, was a huge, huge issue, and I got that fixed up. It just it doesn't produce any power. That's all. So uh, I want to get this one up and uh, be able to give you uh, what kind of uh, power I'm getting out of it, uh, just to help everyone else uh, to make their suggestions on uh, what they want to purchase. Okay, I uh, yeah, just you. pulled the hub off here. It didn't wasn't hard to get off at all so it wasn't on real tight there's a paint surface on the inside of the tapered hole that'll have to be cleaned up that would cause uh, somewhat of it not uh, running true and there's quite a bit of gunk and sticky stuff and whatever else on this shaft shows some marks on it there that it shouldn't but I'll clean that up and uh, we should be good then but I'll uh, Keep you posted. Thank you. Okay, I cleaned up uh, the shaft. You can see there's some marks in here, and it's not real. It's got a little bit of a hollow to it too. Um, not a big deal. Cleaned it up and uh, cleaned up on the inside of the hub what I could there. It uh, apparently is not the same taper because when you slap that on, if it's tapered and it's on like that, you should not get any movement like that. Make that thing really and you can see in there there is room between the shaft and the thing so that means these two tapers the taper on the shaft and the taper inside do not match so I'll have to see what I can do and uh, get that machine down to uh, match thanks Okay, what I did is I cleaned up uh, the inside shaft and uh, on the um, generator itself plus the inside of the, uh, the front here and uh, we got it down here within 10 thou now which is not bad for cast surface like that. One thing I had to do is uh, inside here once I cleaned that up it went in too far and it would not uh, it was rubbing on the inside so I had to put that into the milling machine and uh, mill the inside uh, 
surface out of there to give some clearance for that to uh, to clear. So now I'm ready. I'm gonna put the blades on and uh, try balancing them and see how that uh, works out. Okay, this is the blade set for the uh, White Lightning uh, Hurricane turbine. Uh, put it together. It's pretty well balanced. It needs a little bit of tweaking, but way better than the other ones that I had. So th this is my heavy point right there. I'd marked it, but if you lift it up there, it rolls around to the heavy side, but it doesn't, uh, the last one I had when it, uh, when you let it go, it thump, right to the bottom and rolled around there where this one, uh, it's very consistent and the edge of the blades when it's all put together all measured within a sixteenth of an inch um, so so far uh, that part seems uh, seems good we'll balance this up uh, and get her together okay I've uh, balanced uh, the blades wasn't too bad uh, one thing if you're putting these together it's a metric uh, bolt that they run through here so it's an M8 bolt I just uh, lucky I had some uh, M8 lock nuts uh, here for another project uh, I had to add three to that blade I had to add three plus two washers to that one and uh, three nuts and one washer to there to get the uh, balance uh, which is not bad for a big long blade like this uh, now I can stop this wherever I want and it will not move it sits balanced so this should be real nice I noticed the last ones huge difference on the tower whether it had uh, been balanced or not now I did notice these are all listed with uh, uh, the weight um, on them on each blade set and they are all within uh, 944, 946, 944, 944, 946 and so on but uh, for the size of these uh, these blades and uh, there's a fair bit of weight to them to, to balance it like that with a cast hub um, I thought that was pretty good so Thanks. All right, it's uh, February 11th. Uh, temperature is pretty good today. It's above zero. Zero. It's uh, like six degrees Celsius. So I uh, wanted to hurry up and get this unit together and uh, bring my tower down and change it while it's uh, nice and warm. Uh, one thing I had to do. I still got to do another thing to it. But uh, the bolts that came for uh, for that, they were too long. They were going to interfere with the uh, with the post part so I had to uh, put shorter ones in there and drill the holes out so that they would go in uh, same with the uh, bolts in the back they were great big long ones uh, there they are and it's a quarter inch bolt and the washer 5 16 it's huge washer so put the right size the only thing I want to do it's a long tail which I thought was great for catching the wind but that thing wow I want to, uh, I'm going to make a stiffener to go in the top there to try to keep some of that movement. If, as if it's not, uh, it's a fancy tail, it's supposed to be great for tracking, but uh, if it does this, how much uh, tracking is it going to be doing properly? So you can see it from here better. There's a lot of uh, movement. If that wind is catching that. So I'll see what I can do and uh, keep you posted. Okay, I added a little bit of a aluminum plate up here to strengthen that up. That took all that uh, shake out of it. I just bolted it uh, through and spaced it on the inside there. Clamped that around and that holds everything. Uh, a lot better than that. Uh, that took a little longer than I expected. I don't know if I'll get it up on the tower yet today, but uh, we'll keep you posted. Okay, it's uh, February 
18th today. I uh, Last time I was trying to get this up, I think it was 11th, it was supposed to be warm. It's uh, plus 13 Celsius here today, well, which is really warm for this time of year. Um, there I got the mounted onto the uh, the tower. I used uh, MC4 connectors because um, these cables weren't very long and uh, wired that into there. Uh, blades on with the nose cone and everything and you can see the gusset that I'd added to that. So I'm ready to uh, bring this uh, up and uh, See what kind of uh, readings we get. Uh, hopefully, we get some nice uh, breeze later on today. Okay, Thank she's you. up on the tower. Hard to see here. I'm glad that uh, I added that stiffener to the tail because even that end piece of the tail still kind of flops around a little bit. We're getting about 10 mile an hour wind gusts right now. Look at uh, under some readings here. Well, I won't be able to see with the door open. It's not very windy right now, but we're getting over 100 watts. Seems uh, quite a bit uh, better than uh, the Freedom that I had on there. But we'll uh, get the meter out for some uh, wind calculations and uh, see how it is. And uh, for everybody to uh, get your own opinion on, uh, on this type of uh, wind turbine. 